Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Have you ever used the arrow tool on the end of a line, but it didn't, none of the arrows underneath the common sh shapes or basic sh shapes uh, rang your bell? Well, I made this one just a few seconds ago. I didn't. I didn't do perfect on the size right there, evidently the size of line. I'm still trying to figure that out. But I put a little curvature to my arrow. Um, you know, I've got a little curvature. I don't, my lines don't match up. I need to figure that out. But I also made a line that has a ball and an arrow in the end. And it just, just to show you how quick you could do something, if we take the three-point curve line and then draw a arch and we're going to get the parallel drawing tool and have them three inches apart and have five of them and then you don't even have to ungroup them in anything you've already got them selected let's go ahead and make this thing like 0.33 wide and then hit f12 or go down here to your and go up to your arrows i've only made the arrow going to the left so far but i made this arrow Look at that. Now I'd put it on that because that's the way I drew it. And if you wanted them on the other side, you could just make it another arrow. And you could also just mirror these. But you could you could make any shape. Uh, let's uh let's make a star. Let's just make it a normal five-sided star though. And left click. Right click, I'd say take away the outline. And you'd probably want to make it a little smaller. And this is where the, it's amazing how easy this is. Go up to object and create a arrowhead. Call it whatever you want. Change the size, whatever you want. I don't, I've yet to understand that part of it. Uh, proportionate, let's make it two inches. And now let's draw a line, just a two-point line. Then let's make it a little bit thick. Let's make it a half inch. Let's go ahead and make it in black. And let's go right here to our arrows. And there's our new star. Now it's real little because I don't really totally understand it yet. But I'm sure we can figure this out. Let's go back, see hairline is really little so it does have to do with the thickness of the brush there we go there's a half inch and if you made it one inch well i guess there's a minimum and maximum but you could do anything any shape that you wanted i mean you know i've always put arrows or something on the end of lines and if you just grab that and go up here and put this arrow. Of course, it doesn't really show up until you get into thicker words. And then you could do the other side too. It actually shows you. But you could put any shape on a bunch of lines at one time that, you know, if you just wanted a ball on the end of a line, you know, I didn't have to add the arrow to the end of the arrow. So all you have to do is go to object and create an arrowhead. Play around with that. See if you can't have some fun. I think the star is pretty easy because no matter what thickness of line you had, like the problem I had here, that's relative to the size of the line. You know, if we look at where I had that little mess up, and I'm sure there's so I'm, you know, I could change this to 1.2 and see now my lines match. Well, or do they, you know? Anyway, have fun with that. Play around and hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.